6G is going to improve communications for everyone, including personal level, but also at the industry level. And at the moment, it's in a research phase. So there's many aspects being looked at, including AI, machine learning, also different kinds of antenna systems, which we're particularly involved in. 6G can offer a lot of help. So one of the problems you have in cities with tall buildings is you get a lot of shadows in the side streets and other areas. One example, we're looking at a technology called reflective intelligent surfaces, which is basically a technique to fill in shadow regions in cities. What we aim to do with these intelligent surfaces is to actively steer beams from cell towers into those shadow regions. But with reflective surfaces, we aim to really pinpoint users as they move through these regions so they can maintain a signal at all times. Other areas we're looking at are an item called a GRIN lens, gradient refractive index lens, they're designed for things like densification. The idea of these lenses is to really segment the space and provide adequate bandwidth and capacity. Now, these lenses are quite clever. They're made of metamaterials, which is something we can model within our CSD Studio suite and design at the element level and also at the full lens level. So virtual twins are an integral part of what we're doing. For example, with Greener Wave on reflective intelligent surfaces, we're working with another company called Fortify on the Grin lens technology. We set up the material property to be accurately representative of what's happening in the real world. We call it a virtual twin, but its behavior when we use it for simulation should reflect exactly the hardware version of that device. We capture all of the effects that are going on and we also put it into the real world environment when we simulate it. So we're capturing the installed effects and operation of that device. But we're also doing the same on the device side for 6G. So when you look at your smartphone or your smartwatch that operates at very high frequencies. So on the 6G side, we want to make sure they don't interfere with each other and also that they're immune to outside interference. So we've got good technologies within Simulia to simulate those electromagnetic effects and make sure all of the antennas, all of the circuits work in harmony. So we can do all of this together based on this virtual twin that we've built.